Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected. Now let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. What is your body count so far this year? So it's, what, okay, July 6th. So I've been with about a person each day for the last, like, six, seven months. Each day? Each day. So, I mean, if there's been six months, 30-ish days, then that's a lot of people. We're already in triple digits. So what's 30 times six? Someone in the comments let us know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it could be a little less or a little more, but definitely, like, I've been with about one person each day. Some days multiple, some days not at all, but... So how many of those people are new people, or is it all just, like, the same you're getting no i mean yeah i've had some consistent like you know people that i'll come back to like if they're really f right but most of the time it's new people because i like new experiences and i want to try everyone out she belongs to the streets Someone needs to break it to her that having a new person each day isn't called making new experiences it's called something a lot worse than that Since men didn't go in for a hug, they're being jerks. If they had, they'd be creeps. Lose-lose situation. I hate when females be like, yeah, you fumble me. That's how I know you don't even watch football. Because when you fumble, you accidentally drop the ball. Girl, I threw you back to the streets. That's a complete pass. Ain't no fumbling over here. There wasn't no accident on oh, God. You learn something new each day, and today, some women learned a new word. When I see 19-year-olds literally going straight into and not, did you go to university? I went to Mississippi State University. I did college first. I tried first before I had a But it didn't work out, right? That's why you did <laughs> Well, guess what? I'm a mother, so I can do whatever the right. I want. I, 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 I have almost a million followers. What do you it. have? You have, have a thousand life? followers? I have my I house. I your Instagram. You have a thousand followers. I have almost a million followers. I've been doing this for okay. a long time. I was one of the first live stream groups. Oh and I was God, also on really? television. So here's the thing. When I was your guys' age, I went to university. I didn't okay. go straight to and yeah. where did university get you? Do you know where it got me? Where? It didn't get me anywhere. Then I don't even shut the up. You okay. shut the up. I was skeptical until she was on TV. Now I'm totally convinced she's a success. That's why the calmness in her voice shows how confident she is about all of her big achievements. How much do you want your wedding to cost? My thing is not a cost thing. It just needs to Say be. Say that up, but we don't, we don't. Come on. I want two weddings. I want one here and I want one abroad in South Africa. Okay, so you've roughly done the costings, roughly. I haven't done the cost. But roughly, roughly, roughly. Probably like 600k. Probably even huh? more. Probably like. What, what, what currency are we talking about? Pounds. <laughs> Probably like 500k. A wedding? 400k. Wedding? 350. Wedding? How much? You're uh, trolling me, you're trolling me. Why am I going down? You're trolling How me. How much do they cost? A wedding girl. Yeah, my dress, my bridesmaids, my my car, my people, my hair, like, my ring. Are we even feeling the whole thing? Yeah. Last I checked, weddings were celebrations of love and not cause for bankruptcy. I didn't think shape-shifting was a real thing until I saw a woman dress up. First of all, I think any woman that feels they don't need a man obviously has never found a man that they needed. Mm -hmm. So we can start there. But a lot of women resent their own mother, and that's why they resent femininity. They don't respect her. You have a lot of women saying, that got to do this for me, and the got to do that for me. No did that for your mama, so that means you don't even respect your mama. Hmm. You ain't seen no at your mama in the house. Ain't no flying your mama around. Your mama don't got a Birkin bag. Your mama worked the job while your daddy worked the job too. But you saying you don't want to work. They are repulsed by their own mothers and hate their own fathers because they don't want the type of man their father is. Your father wasn't a millionaire. Modern day women act like men owe them a life they've never experienced before for no other reason than I want it. Okay then, work for it on your own. Oh wow, you are gorgeous. Oh please, let me just say that to all the girls you date. Get out. What? 
Just get out, please. What? I'm sorry. That's rude. I'm sorry. That's rude of me. Just can you please get out, please? Whatever. I'm not trying to be rude. Just trying to be happy. Whatever. So. If she starts every conversation with an accusation, you're better off alone. But well, one comment will make a nose job. Yeah. That's sick, man. Yeah. That's kill. I agree with you that. You can't even accept yourself the way God made you. What the fuck make you think I want to accept you? So the, so do you turn down the the surgery chicks? Bro, they look like ladies to me. Damn. Do you, and then seeing so many women with all this work done, it make me appreciate that that natural. you know what I'm saying that natural look. Yeah. Like bro, like I like seeing a little slight skin imperfection. Yeah, it, it makes me saying? feel like it's it's like more... it make me feel like you me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like we're, I'm not we're here. Perfect. We're here together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We growing together. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, bro, man, I'd rather get a a, a seven and build that to a bad mother. Because I know her heart gonna be there off the rip. Apparently, the worst thing you can tell a woman these days is that she looks natural, and that says a lot about the world we live in. Just trying to get to know you. That's all. Okay. Uh, well, if you want to get to know me, how about you pay my rent? Can you do that? Okay, you can't pay my rent. All right, it's giving DCE, and I definitely don't got time for that. Now, what the hell is DCE? Dry energy, and that's what it looked like you working with, all right? And I ain't got time for all that. That's right, black man. Know your worth. You right, black man, because I'm not gonna stand for this. Flip the script on them, and they're standing there like, that sounds like what a really horrible person would say. Um, yes, I'm glad we agree. Body count matter? For a woman? Um... To me personally, I'm not gonna judge a woman by her body count. Question for you. If you had a daughter, would you prefer your daughter to have a body count of one or a body count of 100? I do have a daughter. So would you want 100 in and outside your daughter? Well, they Or just one? No, I wouldn't, but I also. Okay, so the reason why you wouldn't, that means body count matters. Now that's called the comeback, having her second guessing everything she believes in because it isn't right. Black women are not bosses. I'm sick Excuse of the narrative me? that black women are strong, independent. I, never, I didn't and say we're strong, all, independent. Well, I said we're a not boss. man. A man does not want a woman who says she's a boss. It's a cool man don't want a no, boss. No, no, no right. man. They you respect bad. you as your singer that's and they're fine. pandering because of your talent. But are they taking you home and saying that's my wife? Somehow. There's a difference. Somehow. Though, that's a point Between your art and being a wife. Because the Bible, you talked about being a Christian. Yeah. But it says the older women need to teach the younger women and younger women need to submissive. But you know how many young women are not submissive to what men say? But you say you're a Christian woman. Okay. You can't be a Christian woman and buck against what men are saying. That is anti-biblical, it's anti-God, it's anti-Christ, and it makes you the great Babylon. I'm going to be honest But don't you. claim Christianity okay. if you're not willing to submit to what men are telling you. I can a lot of women are Christian feminists. You came Christianity when it works in your favor, but you put down men and say, I'm, you're rebellious. Mm -hmm. You are anti-Christ and you are the Jezebel. There's not a man on God's green earth that wants to come home to a woman who refuses to do anything and any chore just because she's a self-proclaimed boss who doesn't have to. The most freakiest thing I've ever done was I had a to the back of my head during and then like not even like I kind of like my like on, on the edge like I like feeling like I'm in danger but not like actually in danger daddy issues got it the question was freaky as stories not stories to tell in therapy a man is never truly single not by choice it is that so can be he will be in some sort of situationship or talking to someone hooking up with someone or like trying to take someone out and if he's not he's going to be actively on the hunt actively trying to pursue someone and get someone that's just the way they are is it really they're never single the way that women are single like girls will be single as in they haven't talked to anyone in like a year and they're like in their celibate era but that's not a thing for guys oh my goodness I that's called a dry spell and it's something that needs to be fixed asap unless they're like heartbroken or something but they're never truly single so what does this mean for you well let's hear it pretty much everything that one has said about men being single has been wrong so far so i can't wait to hear the next part this means that if you meet a mysterious attractive man because he's good looking and he pulled your attention he's probably got some other sort of strings attached to other people out there or or he's actually single and plans on staying that way because contrary to what some would have you believe there are men out there, quite a few actually, that are single by choice, and they would happily like to stay that way. Saying that men are actively on the hunt would imply that men don't have any bills to pay, lives to live, and things to get done. Some of us actually have a life outside of dating, as hard as it is to believe. Ladies, ladies, ladies. This is a public service announcement. Bonnets are meant 
to be worn inside the house. I mean, look at this. This looks absolutely ridiculous to be outside with this on your head. I mean, in your children's school with your bonnets on. Out in restaurants with your bonnets on. And ooh, it just burns me when I see y'all on the airplane with your damn bonnets on. I mean, people are laughing at you. Look at this. This looks absolutely ridiculous. Who thought this was cute to walk outside like this? I mean, come on. You got to look at this and see. This makes no sense. Especially when y'all had them big ass eyelashes on. Hey, man, it ain't a trend. It's just tacky. Please. Move. Please. Or a bit. Ew, I know you want to put my hand out here. Yep, you probably ain't going to do it. <laughs> what? So nasty. Yep. Please, okay. I'm begging you. Please, get your hungry ass <laughs> He probably thinks she'll never go there, but we all saw the way she spun around even after she said she was leaving. When a man takes me to the mall, they take me shopping and they buy me the stuff. So I don't know what you're talking about. So that's what I was thinking the whole time. You attract the energy you give, and if you act like an entitled brat, you're not getting a man. You're getting a little boy. So what? Do you think you're kept Chanel? I think that. I think that it depends on the picture and the angle, mm. but I'd like to think not. So you're not a catfish? No. no here, so, so we're going to ask random people whether you're a catfish or not. Okay. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. Is she a catfish or not? She is, she is, she is. Catfish. Yeah. Why, why? Is, well, look, at, look at how good she looks in that picture. She looks good here? Yeah. And in person, what are you saying? I see like a 5 out of 10. <laughs> she said it depends on angles, but it really depends on the hours she spent on Facetune for those pictures. Thank you, Jason. El Jefe, the truck driver. What is this? Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Zach? Yep, this is. This is John from John Breaks Bad News. I have some bad news from Cody for you. Oh, yeah? Cody B? Yeah. Uh, he wanted me to let you know that he cries himself to sleep at night because you guys don't dance to Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus in his garage anymore. Because Samantha doesn't like you guys having fun. Who's Samantha? That's my fiance. Your fiance? She sounds like a yeah. fine lady. <laughs> not a big <laughs> ball. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely not. All right. All right. What? Are you, why? Is, you. Why won't you guys just have a nice time in the garage, singing and dancing to Wrecking Ball? I guess I have to go on the to do list. Yeah, it does. You got to give your man some time. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he misses you. All right. Yep, well, I'll have to give my call after this. <laughs> I love you. All right. Love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. I'm just saying, a good friend's one in a million, whereas women make up half the world's population. Who else knew that you could pump your gas while your car's on? You can't, it'll blow up. No, you can't. <laughs> My kids over here, you can't, you can't. No, you can't, you can. That was like the <laughs> one thing you couldn't do. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I'd rather get all my info from someone who actually knows what they're talking about. What's the most simp thing that a guy has done for you? Oh, I'm going to New York um, on Monday with a guy that I barely know, and he got us the helicopter ride for 45 minutes over New York, and I barely talked to him. You're a simp! Is there any chance something happens? He's really nice. I'm trying, but, like, I'm not... <laughs> I've literally like I'm trying okay like you want to do that for me cool like but honestly I'm not gonna f I don't trust men stop the cap why don't you trust men my ex uh, and my friends everybody I know was your your ex like a thug or like a she dude or what was it? he's a felon but he's also 10 years older than me you can't make this shit Y'all heard it. So, so in 2024, y'all still going for felons? No, not anymore. Oh, I'm good. The, ne the new guy, he does therapy. Would y'all ever give a nerdy guy a chance? Yes, that he is. You're he not, you not f him, though. You just said that. Okay.
Okay, but but I might after. After a whole helicopter ride around New York? Yeah. But we must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. She doesn't trust men enough, she says, but that's excluding all the expenses paid helicopter ride and extravagant first day he's taking her on. Shut up. You're not gonna this go is shopping. This my dream. This I'm not, is my car. I'm not We're spending, so much fun. Come on, I'm not spending any money on you. You're not getting any money why, from why, me. Why not? Because you're giving me mad gold digger vibes, to be honest with you, so. What did you just call me? You only want me for this car, beautiful, so have a nice day. I am beautiful, so spend money on me. Why would I spend money on you, though? You only want me for the car. Like, look at this. Like, I just bought this car, too, and you're touching it like it's yours. You're gonna tell me no? Yeah. Get Nobody tells me no. Yeah, I just did. Have a nice day. How about that? Are you kidding me? Enjoy your day. I'm not going anywhere. I a man will work for years to make money, and a woman thinks he'll let her spend all of it in a day. Hi, how are you? You can stay. You like her? <laughs> Hi. You look for me. You remember me? You can stay. That's all you gonna say? You can go. Get up. No. Get up. Get up. I miss you. I wanted a hug. Did you gonna leave? No, I don't wanna leave. So you get a hug, you can leave. If you if you leave, you can stay. Oh. Which one you doing? Hello, hello. Wait, Sam. What's your name? Tony. Tony. I thought it was Woody. So you asked me what my name was? Because I just wanted to ask. <laughs> you playing with me already? I'm not playing with you. Do I, I like, just... do I look like somebody to play with? Do I look like somebody to play with? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you do. Nephew, you can stay. I can stay? You can stay. He said I can stay. It's because I'm pretty. You say what? To the left. Damn. What's up, Woody? Yeah, get this motherfucker. Hook your now. Get him, bitch. Get him, bitch. Get him. Get him out of here. I will fuck him out of here. Hello. Every girl I know that wear blunt hair said, got to go. My man didn't stutter when he humbled all these women in a row. If you have a sew-in for three months, yes. does that mean that you have not washed your hair in three months? Yeah. My real hair? Yes, that's what it means. You washed, washed the, the fake hair? Yes. It got crazy. Funny how she says it like it should be common sense that a woman will go three months without washing her hair. It doesn't even sound right out loud. This lady tried to touch on me at a massage place and then refused to give my money back. She going to jail. She tried to grab my genitals. She going to jail. And they wonder why Christians having a hard time making it to heaven. I stand for Jesus. She tried to put in for a bit of overtime, but ended up having to serve time. three or 30, he'll never be able to make sense out of a female's behavior. Some women just don't take information well when they are the cause of the issue that the man is bringing to them, right? Like they want communication about how, how hard my job is, I'm tired, my best friend snaked me, man, my mama tripping, my family want this from me, all that, and all that. They open ears, they, 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 they sitting down with their therapist legs crossed with the notepad and everything, open ears to listen to you, right? But when it comes time for me to sit down and tell you about what you're doing wrong, it's not as open. It's not as much of a, okay, I'm gonna sit here and let him get at least a complete thought out before I jump in and I interrupt him before he gets across what he's trying to express. So again, if you want your man to be more communicative, ladies, let me give you a tip. Stop interrupting him when he's coming to you and he's trying to express himself acknowledge the fact that it took him a lot to sit down and talk to you in the first place. So when I sit down and I try and you interrupt me every four words and then you question, damn, why, why don't my man talk to me? He talked to his friends, he talked to everybody, but he don't talk to me. It's because you can't shut up and accept what it is that that man that loves you more than anything in this world is trying to get across. <laughs> so again, if we want more communication, let's open the door for it. Communication with a woman is a one-way street. She gets to say her whole part, but tells you to shut up when it's your turn. Yeah, I run into the club. We run into the church. <laughs> I want a church girl, but my God, there's more up in here now. How about a quick run to the gym too? Um, first, you're short, and I'm a tall girl. I like six foot and up. Okay. Two, I don't do dreads. 
And then your electrician, I'm thinking about like businessman, doctor, lawyer, because I'm trying to like find a man who could provide for my kids and provide for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I just, ain't from Alabama. I heard of things about Alabama. I'm from New York. So, yeah. no, thank you. Mm. Okay. Okay. What you hear about Alabama? I feel like Alabama, you know. I don't you think know. you want to know. Let us know. What, what have you heard? Yeah, um, you could probably marry your sister. Uh -oh. <laughs> nah, so, I, I don't think I, it's, so. a, it's a little, I've been there. It's a little weird over there. Uh -oh. So, no, thank you. Okay. Uh -uh. Right. Okay. <laughs> she coming for your people. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't even let her go like yeah. that. No. <laughs> okay, and is she somebody that you would approach? Is she your type? Like, anything you like, don't like? No, I don't think I like her attitude. I don't like the attitude. I think you think you're a little up there. I mean, no, nah, I think you, you gotta think, come down a little no, bit. No, I think you think I'm up there. No, I don't. I don't. I yes, don't. you do. So why would you assume that? Well, I just feel like for you to just say that, talk down about Alabama, you don't know. I I, I feel like no. I definitely think you ought to do more research or whatever. I did. That stuff That's my said. job. Let's just research, and I researched y'all, and I didn't like it. Okay. Well, yeah. no, I definitely wouldn't talk to you though. No. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So just the attitude. Cute. Yeah, and she's not that cute either. So. Oh, she's not cute either. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> she missed a class on how to hold a polite conversation, but that's not a problem because my man put her in her place real quick. Don't move in with your significant other until you know that this is your person, this is who you're going to marry because up and leave. Leave you and your child high and dry like this man did me. Stay home to watch our kid, right, while he go work and pay bills, which was his choice, not mine. I preferred to work. But since he didn't want that, he took on the bills. Never had a problem with going 50-50. Never. He takes on the bills. I guess it becomes too much for him. Taking care of a child and working is also too much for him. He ups and leave. He proceeds to start taking materialistic things like a little boy. Because I don't know many men that will sit here and take materialistic things in an apartment where his 10-month old still resides like what are you getting out of taking things out of the house where your kid still lives like i don't understand i just feel like you, you at that point you're you're being petty you want to be more sassy more feminine than me that's okay cool don't care about materialistic things they get replaced he took the tv the tv stand the couch he took the bar set up PSA, no man will ever leave a good, happy, and fulfilling home no matter what a bitter ex has to say about it. There's more to the story, and everyone knows it. Alright, so let me get this straight. You invited me out to come to eat. And that was not even my idea. That was your idea, right? Okay, and the problem is? And I'm offering to pay half, but you want me to pay the whole thing? I'm the woman, I shouldn't have to pay anything. Yeah, I invited you out because I wanted to go out. That doesn't mean I have to pay. No, no, this was your idea. Actually, I don't even have to be a gentleman to pay half of it. Because you, you're gonna pay it all. But this was your idea to come out. You're the one that invited me out. And you're the man, so you have to pay the bill. Says who? Says me, what do you mean? In what book is that written in? It doesn't have to be written. That's just a rule. This is my card right here. I'm trying to tell you I'm going to pay half of the bill. How much is it? You, you, you Hold pay, on. You pay, you pay the whole bill or you sleep on 300 the couch. 300 and 300. You pay the whole bill or you sleep on the couch. I ain't even trying to go to your house. I'm trying to go home. How all about the, that? All take him up home, though, but you're still paying this damn bill. $320, and I'm trying to tell you I'm going to pay half of it. And you're telling me to pay the whole thing? Yeah. When he was your idea to take me out? Yeah. Because of what again? Because you're the man and you're responsible for the bill. You invite me out, I pay for my food. Don't let these ladies play you, especially if it's a first date. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.